What's what's going on my boys today? I kind of wanted to just make a real quick video going over how to set up a settle Corsa on your Quest 3. It might work on the Quest 2, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never used one of those, but let's get right into it. So the first thing you'll need is the uh, Oculus Rift app. So you can go on and download this from their website. And then once you have it downloaded, you can go into your devices here and you can see your Quest 3 and touch is is active um, you might have to click the add headset button to get it to detect but it should activate pretty easily so after you do that you're gonna want to go into your menu here and depending on your computer you might need to turn the refresh rate down and then this one's pretty important if you do anything less than uh, 1x then you might get some blurriness and stuff what that is doing is it's basically lowering the resolution of your screens on your on your oculus so it's not going to look as good but if you're having trouble getting frames then that might be something that you need to do so um i have it on auto because mine runs at one time uh pretty perfectly on 72 hertz one of the dingle dangle issues that i've had with this thing uh that i finally have fixed is it keeps like disconnecting while I'm playing and it's super annoying. So what I did to make this go away is I came over here into settings, I went to beta, and then I activated the public test channel. And basically it's like a PTR where they test updates and stuff and whatever is on the public test channel uh, fixes the cable issues. So I, I haven't had any issues with it afterwards. Something that you can do if you think your cable is not giving, like transferring enough data, is you can do a USB test. And you can just run a test on your connection to see how fast your cable is. And if it's too slow, then that's why you're gonna get stuttering and stuff like that, uh, or blurriness. So this is running at 2.4 gigabits per second. That's more than enough. Um, make sure you're using a USB 3.0 port or higher, or like the official uh, Quest cable is USB-C. This Kiwi cable is USB 3.0 and it transfers plenty fast. It actually, I, I found it transferred, transfers faster than the uh, MetaQuest cable. So I use the, the Kiwi cable most of the time. So once you have this set up, just minimize this. Don't close out of it. You need that open. And then you should have Content Manager installed. If you don't have Content Manager installed, there's a ton of tutorials on how to do that. You're gonna want this if you're doing anything in a settled course, especially with drifting and downloading car packs and anything like that, it makes it just a hundred times easier to use. Once you have Content Manager all installed, you go to the settings up here at the top, a settled Corsa, and then in video, you're gonna wanna click on where it says single screen and do Oculus Rift. You can change this stuff around if you want. I usually just leave it the way it is. Uh, make sure fixed resolution automatically is, is clicked. Once you have that selected, you can bust out your little headset, throw that on your noggin. Once you have your headset on, it should there should be a little pop-up that says enable Quest Link. If it doesn't, you can open up here and then you can click Quest Link Rift. Make sure you click on your PC. Uh, don't use Air Link, it's a bad idea. It just doesn't work as good. There's all kinds of jitters and it's just, it's bad. Um, so then you'll click launch. Once that loads up, you'll be in um, like you can you can see it's, it's kind of like Steam VR so you don't have to do anything in the quest at this point now you can just click go down here at the bottom and it'll automatically launch in your headset as well as you can see we're loading in to Brooklyn Park in the S15 also make sure you select your audio device before you hit launch because mine is currently set to my speakers and so it's not coming through my quest or if I was wearing headphones, headphones. That will get you into the lobby. Every once in a while you can see, as you can see, I have a little neck hole right here. So all you have to do is click the menu button on your controller, reset view, and then I put my head all the way back. It depends on the car pack that you're using, but just put your head all the way back against your seat, press a button, and then you're good to go. Then you can just click drive like you would normally with your controller and you should be good to race. So that should be everything you need to know to get started uh, on your Quest 3. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know in the description. I will try to help and answer them if I can. And if this helped you, please like and subscribe for more drifting content. And if it didn't help you, then I'm really sorry.
and hopefully next video will be helpful for you if you hit the like and subscribe button. Bye bye.